We're also starting Food Wars. We literally have watched like one episode. Yes. Two episodes. Technically two? I think we did watch two episodes. Yeah. It's hard not to just keep watching, Food honestly. Food Wars is so good. So yeah, we're watching the fifth one on that. We don't fantastic. Uh, of the new season, yeah, the fifth plate. Um, the fifth plate, where he's number one. And it's kind of weird for me, because I'm always like, I want Soma to kind of just always be in that, like, like what's striving. next? He's always I'm the striving underdog. to be the best, but, but now he's now he's the best. the best. Yeah, that's, well, and I, so now, I mean, almost immediately, they're like, oh, hey, you're the best of school. And so now oh. it's like, here's your next level where you can be the one, one coming up. Right. Yeah, exactly. And I was just like, oh, well, Arena is now, you know, the in charge, in charge yeah. and like the schoolmaster. So she's like the they're ultimate, doing the, uh, right? They're they're kind of taking the, the Dragon Ball approach where it's like, oh, you defeated Piccolo. But what about Saiyans? And so, <laughs> you know, they're kind of like the world just keeps getting you, bigger yeah, and bigger. Exactly. Every time Goku ca like conquers one enemy, there's another. Oh, you're the unit. And then you get, or, they're like super where they're like, oh, you're the strongest in the universe. But now what about the God. other universe? <laughs> <laughs> it, I and mean, now, literally, that's, you're in God mode. That's insane. Yeah. It's super funny. And so they're kind of oh, doing that hilarious. same thing with Food Wars where it's like, oh, you're the best at the school that's really good for students? Well, well what about more schools? Well, I don't want to spoil too much for anybody. So if you're, if you haven't started it, We're just... only two in and we've already spoiled everything up to the fifth season. Oh, I guess you're right. But like the second episode, or the first episode, I think, at the very end, there's like this like blue I have no thing. comment on Chica season two because we are not caught up on Kaguya-sama. <gasps> Love is war, love is war, love is war. But I do love the <laughs> love Chica dance, opening. and I love the new meme of Chica blob fishing. It's super adorable. I have the Chica outfit, right? Or I wanted to do that. I can't remember if I purchased the cosplay or did not. Did we buy it? I think I did buy it, but we couldn't go to the convention for some reason. Or we just didn't cosplay. Oh, we bought it, but it didn't come in time. Oh, that's right. So we bought. I bought a Chica cosplay for myself because she's so cute. And I was like, I'm going to learn to dance. And I was like, going to do oh, all this stuff. You haven't seen the Chica blob meme? I don't think I've seen the Chica blob meme either. But she is just like such a character full like she's like so joyous, but like innocent, but also like very aware at the same time. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Blobfish when reaching a surface level. Blah. Blah. To play it again. Play it again. Play it again. Uh, <laughs> That's the blob. She is so cute. It's just insane. But anyway, I think this is like was it 2019? It must have been last year, I think, for Sakura Khan. And then yeah. we ended up going, but just not. We just didn't have. Well, or we, I did like we did casual super cosplay. Super comfy cosplay. Yeah, super comfy did. cosplay. Super comfy. We even watch anime with all my snacks. Yeah, I just kind of like melt into the couch, oh. like <laughs> watching anime during quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh wait, what were we talking? Oh, Food Wars. Okay, so so back on Food Wars real quick. There's the next thing that you're talking about is this blue the acad the um like the it's gonna be like a shokugeki of sorts. Well, I it's think like a from food all, competition. Yeah, from different schools from around, well, I believe. It's mimicking the, the cordon bleu. Yes. Right. And that's going to be exciting. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. I'm curious, who do you think the mysterious teacher is that he supposedly knows? Some do dude he fed bad food to one day. You think so? That yeah. would be actually really funny. It was like he at the store. He just happened to be at the, yeah, the, at the Yukihira. Yukihira Diner. Yeah. At the day they were giving out like squid and peanut butter or something like that. And he's like, like oh. you know, just then he got cranky ever since. Like, <laughs> I think that would be hilarious. And he just has like a small vendetta against him. He's like, How are you number one? You, like, you sold me this crap. His cousin is your guest. Yeah. Oh, Fa potential how family not member. Know his family, well, though. I think you got to go with the, you got to go with the Dragon Ball. Go with the uh, the, the, Wait, the Raditz being Goku's brother. Oh, and like, how did you not know about your brother? Right. So it's like, oh. Like a second, like a stepbrother or something. So it's not unusual. But uh, he kind of looks like Arena's dad, though. That's who he reminds yeah. me of. So I don't know what that connection is. And would I mean, be. he could be somebody that uh, Soma's dad encountered and now he's got that grudge against Soma so like there, there's all kinds I won't get into, too deep into that um, I but thought it was interesting to think about we are also watching uh, <gasps> My Next Life 
as a villainess. Oh, I had no expectations it's not for unusual this. Unusual to be in love <laughs> with love anyone. I had like zero expectations going into this. Oh, it needs the battery. That's why. Oh, we um, just lost chat. I'll pull up chat over pull here. Pull up chat over there. It's fine. Um, but I was gonna say, like this, my next life as a villainess. I it's a it's an isekai in a way, but I don't want to give too much of it away. But it's well, just it's so no, no. What, good. What we want to say though about it. Oh, here we go. Aaron is dead. She has to have her Okay. Uh, as far as it, as um. It, it it is a it is an isekai it is a light novel you can tell because the title goes on forever and it <laughs> that's is, true <laughs> it is also a uh a shoujo that i was not expecting to like because stuff like um kamisama kiss where it's like uh this gal gets oh, transported yeah. to like the heavens and then meets all these different gods and they're all personified as cute high school boys, and it's all like this. <laughs> oh, which cute that. high school boy am I gonna get? Who's <laughs> also a god? It's so fantastic. Uh, and they're all just like super flowery, flirty a lot of the times. Uh, this one has a very grounded, fun sense of humor. Oh, so uh, funny. The introduction takes episodes. It takes actual which episodes. Is awesome. And actually awesome. shows the childhood. Yeah. So when we're dealing with them in high school and we're actually like talking with them, uh, you know, on a, on a, in classes and stuff, we know that they were a childhood friend. We know that they were, you know, all this, that, or the other thing. Well, we we know what their relationship personality is. Yeah, like. we know what their relationship was when they were kids, which is usually alluded to in either a trope. Or, or like a, a single one-off line, or just a one-off line where it's like, "I'm your childhood friend, Bo Bokobo." Like, Remember that one time that you hurt my feelings? I, I promised <laughs> I'd marry you as a child. You know, it's, and you get like that, that yeah. like line that they just like spit out randomly. This actually goes back like and shows deep. the childhood. And it's not even deep, deep. It's well, just enough where it's like you're introduced to all the characters in a few episodes right at the beginning from the childhood mm -hmm. section and then the you get main into story the you starts. get into the the high school story of the here's the love interest and here's what we're doing it, it's so much fun i would it's say it's really well done and i was uh, not expecting so well that honestly yeah, i was expecting it to yeah. be like let's watch two episodes and decide not but we're like <laughs> i had to i didn't have to convince you but i was like i just think this looks really nice like we should just give it a shot like, and uh, first couple i think it was like maybe the second episode we're like yeah like i enjoy this yeah. and it's still airing so it, i think maybe we're caught up right now it was or literally, close i to think it. it was like the third episode where i was like okay this is really really well done and the the main character has these really hilarious inner dialogues. Yeah, the inner just, monologues and are it great. Gives you more context for like uh how she's gonna try and like pursue things from here on out, or like how she's gonna try and dodge these problems that she thinks she's gonna have. I don't want to yeah give too much away, but yeah. it is I highly recommend it. Like, like I said, it's still airing. We've watched it on Verve or Crunchyroll. It's on High Dive too, I believe. Um, yeah, and unexpected, just a great joy. Yeah, ton of fun on that brand, one. Brand new this season. Um, last thing that we're watching right now, uh, we just started Cannon Busters. Last night, And actually. if you want to do nostalgia anime. <laughs> like it's We started with that, Godanner, yeah. where it's like an older anime, but it gives us an even older feeling. Cannon Buster is such a great nostalgia anime. It's true in the first episode netflix uh, put it together so it's available on netflix um uh, the studio that developed it there's two studios uh and they both have extremely like not super super long but they've both been around since the 90s so they've been around doing things um and immediately in the first first few frames i was like oh this is trigun oh like, this is like one to one almost and then, like the and then I was setup. like, oh, here, here's what's going to happen here. And then I was like, oh, this is a little bit of Cowboy Bebop. Oh, this yes. is a little bit of, you know, it just. Because it's Western. Got and a little bit of that outlaw star to it yeah. as far as like his car goes. 
Uh, he's got a little bit of desert punk as far yeah. as like the car goes too. And it's just like you get all these like little things where you're like, oh, this is this is super fun. You will love it if you he like Trigun at it. all. You will love it. Uh, it, and it's and it's done in such a way where I'm like, oh, well, Trigun did this and uh, Cowboy Bebop did this, so maybe they're gonna do this. And I'm right, and I still enjoy watching it. So it's like <laughs> even that little bit of predictableness is still fun to watch and still fun to enjoy. Maybe and it's so, because of those nostalgia factors, also it's, in a way, and it's the way Which that they fine. animated it. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, it's a Netflix production in 2020. They're using yes. computers completely to animate it. It still has that original cell feeling to it. Like, the way Which that they've great. done the backgrounds of the different shots in mm -hmm. a different art style to the actual foreground characters that are moving. Yeah. Like, uh... That's the same in uh, Next Life as a villainess. They'll have that as well. But even more so, where, like, uh you're like oh that's the thing that's gonna move or that's that's the character you immediately tell because it's like they're on like a watercolor yeah. background like it has that feeling of like really classic anime oh uh, the hair reminds me of it's definitely a fun afro <laughs> it is a totally fun afro um there's already very distinct characters in it like yeah. robots and uh people <laughs> people and spoilers okay so uh, spoilers but like and and one of the like the most interesting <laughs> things about how you can do that art style in the modern era is you know back in the day with like scooby-doo you'd have these hand-painted backgrounds oh, and then yeah, like yeah. a trap door would be uh Clearly animation animated. cell <laughs> and so as they're coming through you're like oh that's an animation part so it's gonna fall through that's where the trap door is or that rug's gonna move or that door is gonna open whatever it is Whereas, because this is modern animation, they can <laughs> utilize the fact that because they're using a computer to develop everything, they can have something immediately animate. Mm -hmm. And so you have this cool painted background, and then something in the background moves a little bit, and you're like, like oh, it's not whoa. Whoa.